Uh, today we're at, we're at a group of local people. We had a food drive for the Green Brigade, this local Celtic supporters bus, uh, collected food. Instead of having a food bank, we're doing a food solidarity. It's, it says bring what you can, take what you need, and share and share alike, because we want to create the idea of unity and togetherness and kindness and that people care about each other in this day and age people shouldn't be left to go hungry in a really rich world. I would be decided we were going to help out with the food drive um, basically building on what the Green Brigade done at Selick Park and do it every year. Uh, we done the same thing last year. Con we also contacted them to say listen we're going to keep it local um, and what we done when we collected the food for all our supporters, he says we would pass it on to Castle Against Austerity to distribute locally. Um, and as you've probably seen today, it's, it's went really well. Um, and a lot of people are going away with a wee smile on their face and a wee bag of messages. So we want to break the stigma and the shame that people feel that they can't afford to buy food. So we want to just share it out to everybody to then share further in the community and this is a really good part to be but what to do that I mean but all the people that some artists and uh, singers and everything as well just to sort of make a kind of carnival atmosphere and raise people's spirits as well and Vicky's uh, for Castle Youth Complex and and a local young person as well and she's here to help out and everybody's welcome. But I think that this is really an important thing that other people get together and try and do and raise the spirits of their own community because it'll like show unity and it'll give people a chance to get to know people they wouldn't know and give people in their community a chance to get stuff that they can afford. A lot of people got involved in it uh, with, with guys donating money. We also donated a wee bit of money to the Green Brigade's um, initiative just so that we won the taking taken away for them basically as well. Uh, but as I said before, I felt it was important that we kept the, the food in the scheme um, and helped out some local people. Well, the youth complex is just a great place for young people especially to go to because um, they kind of do the same stuff as Castle Against Austerity and they give younger people a safe place to go at night and there's always cook so that if maybe you can go dinner that night, you've got something to eat. So, so we're up there every Tuesday night and uh, we do have different events and different discussions and Vicky's already put on an event but she wants to do another event about bullying which is really cyberbullying especially because it's really it's something that's impacted the young people in the community here and that a young person took their life and we think it's really important to get people to be confident and speak up for yourself. And I'm Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. We are rappers. Hi. Event organisers, I suppose, as well. Uh, and we do work at the youth complex in Casamook with Casamook Against Austerity. Hi. I think it's it's a great idea. I think it, um, it's good, like smack bag in the middle of like a, a, a shopping centre, which is normally the place where people will go and, and everybody's in a wee individual place, moving about in a wee animised way, trying to shop and consume and all that. But this is a this is kind of subverting that idea and turning it into a community orientated kind of. A place where people can come and like every, everybody that's here, you know, like they're all just having a good chat about stuff, and there's no stigma about the food banks. And then, you know, it's pretty obvious that people are going to have a wider conversation about things that are annoying them. So it's just a nice place for people to set up and people can come along and have a good conversation and get some food. And you know, it's just a brilliant idea. I remember, I remember watching a, a thing, I can't remember, it was a YouTube video or something like that about how. Um, like Rome, where some emperor had an idea where the architecture had to be built in such a way that when you had a town square, mothers could shout over to their children. It was all, it was, it wasn't, all, it was built around the idea of community. It wasn't built around the idea of, you know, what modern shopping centres are built around, which is you know individualism and like everybody being cut off from everybody else. It's just a wee place where everybody, it's like a fashion show and everybody walks about like that. But this is kind of getting into those spaces and turning back into something else. You know? So yeah, it's quite reminiscent of that and it's great.
No, I, 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 I completely agree. Really I think it's just like you said it yourself. We used to design cities during the Renaissance and everything, where you can have a big space. It was actually built in for people to meet up to talk to each other and stuff like that. And then I think when profit becomes more important, you just you make the simplest thing. So the village with one little street. You know, what I mean, you put all the shopping. All the shops are the same wee area, you build all the houses around it, it's not exactly smart design. Um, when you do something like this, it just kind of breaks it up a little bit, it gives you a space. You know, even though it wasn't put there for that, we're putting it in there and it's good. I'm, I'm looking at it, and it's, it's fantastic. People just brought a big shopping trolley full of stuff, got face painting, Monty's playing music. It's yeah. a good atmosphere, I like it, it's good.